Today we're bringing you along on all of our errands today. We have a lot of things to do. There's a full list and somehow we're going to be fitting in homeschool. Um, our first stop is going to be the Cinderella's Closet here on Lackland Air Force Base. The Air Force Ball is coming up very quickly and it's going to be my very first ball that I will attend and I've been wanting to go to oh, an Air Force ball. ball. You want to go to a ball? Yep. Do you do you know what a ball is? Is no. a ball. What do you think it might be? A ball like a is ball. a ball. <laughs> a ball. <laughs> a ball is a ball. What a is ball a... is like a a we can a throw. toy that we can throw. That you can throw. Yeah. But do you know what? Like okay, where does Cinderella go at the end of her story? A ball. She goes to a ball, and what do they do at the ball? Dance and eat and... <laughs> exactly. So the Air Force ball Wait, is... at the end of the Pretend and the Frog, they had a ball. That is right. They did. So that is exactly what Mommy and Daddy are doing. You're going to eat, do you? Uh, yes. We're going to eat, we're going to dance, and we're going to enjoy a fun time. And I've been wanting to go to the Help. Air Force ball for so long. <laughs> I never... Here. <laughs> He somehow fell into the front seat. Do you need help? So I have wanted to go to an Air Force ball for so long. I never got the opportunity while I was in the Air Force. And last year when they were holding it here in San Antonio, we went on vacation. So we missed it. Now, this year, we are going to be here and I'm looking very much forward to it. So our first stop is going to be the Cinderella Closet. If you guys are here in San Antonio and you're military and you need like a ball gown or a clutch or shoes for any kind of occasion like that. Maybe you're going to a wedding, maybe you're going to a fancy event, maybe you're going to the Air Force Ball. Uh, the Cinderella Closet is a great place to go check out um, or rent out formal gowns, clutches, and shoes. Um, so we're gonna go in there and see what they have. I'm gonna see how long I can rent them out and what this all looks like. Um, and then while we're in there, we may check out the thrift store. Now this building used to be the same building that the Airman's Attic was located. Um, the Airman's Attic is going through a lot of renovations. They're actually moving to another location here on base. And if you guys don't know what the Airman's Attic is, it's a place where Wait. military families donate their clothing, toys, home decor, you name it. Anything that they don't want. Or cups. Get cups, dishware, uh, they'll donate it to the Airman's Attic and then the Airman's Attic uh, volunteers, because it's all ran by volunteers, uh, they put it all out on shelves and then the families here on base can go and get things that they need. Um, so the kids and I used to volunteer quite a bit. I was in there a few times a week before I started homeschooling the kids and then I started bringing them along, uh, but now they're going through major renovations. They're changing it up, moving down the street, I believe, and uh, they're gonna open the doors hopefully soon because I miss the Airman's Attic so much. Um, and then I'm hoping that we can volunteer into uh, next year. Um, so we're gonna go check it out, bring you guys along and see what we find. The only way is here. Yeah, let's go down here. How much is that one? Two dollars? No. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, we didn't find anything, did we? Nope. nope. They're completely remodeling that building. Alrighty guys, we went in there. It is a disaster zone in that building. We have the Cinderella's closet that is temporarily closed. I don't know if they're still going to be at that location. Hopefully I could contact them and find out a little bit more. Um, I think I might go ahead and uh, schedule an appointment so I could take a look at the gowns. Um, because I, guys, I'm only gonna wear this gown once during the ball. I don't want to go out and spend over $100 on a gown that I'm only going to wear for about four hours. 
So I definitely want to see what the opportunities are there to rent a gown. I don't know what the cost might be, but I'm going to look into it. And then I'll let you guys know what I find out. Um, the thrift store looks like it's getting a lot of major renovations done. And we were walking around the thrift store and... You want to get in here? Yeah. We were walking around the thrift store and there, everything was so overpriced. I was looking at the clothing, the decor, which is all used and really worn. And guys, I could just go to Walmart, get brand new things for cheaper. So I really do feel like the thrift store is highly overpriced here at Lackland. Hopefully, um, hopefully things change. And uh, where else did we go? Oh, they had a consignment building, but there was nothing in it. No furniture or anything like that. But um, yeah, this uh, building where the Cinderella closet is, the Airman's Attic, and the thrift store, it's all going through major renovations. So hopefully things are on the up and up very, very soon because I do really like these uh, these opportunities for the military families to go shopping at a discounted price, but right now it's not really discounted. Um, so anyways, on to our next item on the list. We're gonna go check out, or we're gonna look into some information for the kids' uh, CCD catechism classes. We are a Catholic family, so the kids are going through their CCD, which they now call it catechism, um, but Adam and I keep on saying CCD, uh, but they, they know what we're talking about. We went through CCD so that we can get a uh, first communion, confirmation, and the kids are already baptized. They were baptized two weeks after they were born. So that's already done. I was 15 or 16 when I was baptized, so I was very, very, very far behind. So we're gonna go check out that. We wanna <laughs> see if uh, the kids can <laughs> go to CCD. <laughs> Always trying to steal the show, huh? <laughs> We want to see if this, the kids can go to Owl, go to CCD while we're here on base on Sundays. And then um, my hope is that the kids can go to their CCD classes while Adam and I are in Mass. Then uh, we can actually enjoy Mass because the kids get so Mom, bored and they Dad. never want to, never want to be there. So if they can go to CCD, get their class done, Adam and I can go to Mass. Um, we're knocking out two birds with one stone. So, you guys ready to go to church? Look at Jay. Wanna go to church? <laughs> we have so much to do today. We gotta get going, okay? All right, seatbelts. Seatbelts, I already have mine on. Who's gonna get their seatbelt on first? I can see it in my dashboard. Who gets it on first? Okay. All right, Peter got it on. Now Jane. All right, everybody's buckled. It's time to go Jane. to Jane. church. That was very convenient. We walked through the church doors. The priest was right there to welcome us. He handed me this pamphlet um, for the education of the kids with CCD. And it looks like it starts on the 22nd of September. So very, very soon it's coming up. Um, I just have to use this pamphlet and scan a QR code, which is absolutely something that Adam is constantly telling me not to do because there people people are out there just continually altering QR codes and um, it could possibly be a spammy situation for you so he's always like if you go to a restaurant ask for a menu do not scan the QR code you don't know what you're scanning um, so I don't know why everybody is constantly moving to QR codes you really need to be careful these days so I'll be signing them up for CCD it looks like they'll be going through their education right before mass so I think it starts at 9 30 or 10 I'll have to look it up the priest didn't seem to know for sure um, so they'll go to their classes and then they'll meet up with Adam and I during mass so they will be going through mass with us uh, but that's okay I'm sure Adam and I can read a book or get some work done in the car or go out and grab a coffee uh, it'll give us some alone time while the kiddos are in their education. Too bad we don't live on base. We could just drop them off and drive down the street to the house. But it is what it is. But I do think that this would be a better option for them. Uh, the previous church we were going to, all of their education was right after Mass. So the kids would go to Mass with us 
and then we'd walk them over to their classes. And then Adam and I would go get a coffee or just stay in the car and just get some work done, read a book, or just chit chat. So that is another thing checked off our list. The kiddos are eating lunch. What are you guys eating? What do you have? Peanut butter, butter and jelly, and jelly honey. Peanut butter and jelly, you got your Bob's muffins. Peanut butter and jelly honey. Oh yes, the kids like to eat peanut butter jelly with honey. And they have Bob's muffins, Peter has the applesauce, and then they're on his kids' juice boxes. And Jane raisins. Jane has raisins instead of applesauce. Jane doesn't eat the, the crust. Yeah, she's that's fine. Not every kid likes crust. Oh, you need wipey. Okay. So I'm gonna get oh you guys have grapes too. Um, I'm going to get Jane a wipey here. We're going to head on into the library and I have the kiddos schoolwork. I brought, I brought all that with me today. So we're going to find one of the rooms in the back and get their language arts done. And then they have a book that they need to finish so that they could turn it into the library because it's due in a few days. That is what we're going to be doing for the next few hours. Then we got some uh, grocery shopping to do. A lot of stops that we have to do today but we're, get, we're getting things done for sure we are in a room and we have number seven today we're going to be working on our language arts so the kids are going to be following instructions for an essay workshop and then we're also going to talk a little bit more about switzerland because we talked about switzerland about two days ago right it's yep we did not to be I know, but today we're going to do language arts and then tomorrow we're going to take on two lessons of math. Are you guys ready for it? Mm -hmm. All right, we have a whiteboard in Where's every room. Bases? Um, Good question. Behind Is there you? one behind? Nope. Okay, so we may or may not use the whiteboard, but it is actually really hot in here. Or we can use our fingers. No, I don't like to use the fingers. I can. <sighs> That's a nice little message left on the board. All right, all right, sit down. We're gonna start working on essay workshop, Switzerland. We're gonna learn about the difference between rural, urban, and suburban. Who's ready to learn? Me. Who's ready to learn? Okay, please sit down. <laughs> rural, I'm gonna have you guys repeat this. You ready? Mm -hmm. Rural means countryside or areas outside of cities or towns. What is rural? Rural um, is Can you say cities. Oh rural, countryside. So when we lived in Wisconsin, did we live in a rural area? We did, Peter, because we did not live in a city, did we? No. We lived in the countryside. got way ahead of me but I didn't want to end the vlog with just us walking into the library. Um, I do have a lot of updates I want to share with you guys in this video. Uh, we ended up meeting up with an old friend at the library after the kids and I were doing a little bit of homeschool and it was great catching up with her and I learned that uh, she's actually PCSing next week so I'm very happy that we had a chance to talk and let the kids play in the library kids section um, but because I was chit chatting so long in the library I was really rushing to get everything I needed to get done today so after the library kids and I went and filled up our five gallon water jugs so we had water in the house I needed to go to the commissary just to pick up a few things that we didn't get at Walmart yesterday um, and what we did a few another thing oh I had to gas up the car and go to the shop at so by the time I got all of that done, I had to rush to my doctor's appointment. So Adam met me at my doctor's appointment. We put the kids in his truck, 
put all the groceries and everything in his truck and I was into the clinic. So I am back home now. Adam made a delicious salmon dinner and uh, we sat down for about 10 minutes and just relaxed for a little bit. And then I'm like, I'm missing something. Forgot to do something today. And I'm like, oh, the vlog. I need to close it out and tell everybody very, how sorry I am, how very, very sorry I am for um, not carrying out the activities of the day. Um, the stage has really got ahead of me. But I did wanna let you guys know about some really exciting news. Um, you guys have been asking for a PO box and the kids and I went to the post office yesterday. We gave them our paperwork and we were given two keys we searched around the P.O. Box area, finally found our P.O. Box, and we now have a P.O. Box address for you guys. Now, that is in the description. I'm gonna put it in the description of the channel for you, and I'll also put it in the description of every video. So in every video in the description section, I kind of explain what the video is about, and I give links to our socials which um, I post there from time to time what we're doing. And it'll have our donation button as well as our, oh, Bella, Bella wanted to come in and say hi. I thought I heard something. She um, opened the door. Um, so we'll have our donation button on there and our PO box. So that is available to you guys if you are interested. Um, we've had a lot of requests for those things and I'm really excited to finally get that up. Um, and guys, I, I thank you so much for your support. <laughs> we all do. We love reading your comments and they're coming in more, more often now. And, uh, we just get so excited when we know that you guys are out there supporting us and watching us and leaving those beautiful comments. Um, it really touches our heart. Um, but yesterday was the last day of summer activities. Summer is pretty much coming to a close here. We went to our theater nearby and we saw our last free movie of the summer. We ended up seeing Wonka. And if you guys have not seen Wonka before, go check it out. It's an amazing movie. The kids, Adam and I, went and saw it in theater when it was just released. And it was, it was so good. Oh. Adam had a meeting today on Lachlan. Let me try to open. And he brought them home some fidget spinners and they light up. Oh, you have to press the button. Yeah. They're definitely a, yeah, I gotta put, they're definitely a distraction. They can't see it, honey. Oh. There you go. Okay. They only, there is the light. It don't look in light. Oh, I can see it. That is super cool. And then what is that ball? It's a stress ball. It's a, oh, it's a stress ball, but um, it changes color. So it changes from purple to pink. See, see that? Purple. See that? You gotta show them. They can't see that well. See that? See that purple? Yeah, it was purple when Adam got it and now it's extremely pink. Oh my, I forgot. <laughs> But anyways, we went and saw Wonka yesterday, and if you haven't seen it, go rent it or find it in your local library. It is an absolutely great movie. Or a um, movie theater. Yeah, well, they're not playing it at a movie theater anymore, but um, one of my favorite parts about that movie is the mom. And the mom plays a very, very small role, but there is one thing that she says a few times in the movie, and it really chokes me up. Um, she says, let me see if I can get it right. Every good thing that was created in this world started with a dream. And I absolutely love that. Adam and I are huge dreamers. Um, our dreams may, be, may not be the most popular thing. Um, when we told people that we were thinking about joining the military again, we got a lot of strange looks like, why would you ever do that? You guys are doing fine. Um, you don't need to join the military. I think that a lot of people think that those who join the military, it's like their last straw. Like they just have no other option. And that's definitely not the case. There's a lot of reasons why people join the military, but in our case, um, we just really felt the pull to be part of the military community again. So even though we had to cut back on a lot of things in our life and downsize quite a bit and reroute our whole family, 
to now two states in the past four years, uh, it is one of the greatest gifts. It is a great decision that we have made, um, in our opinion. Uh, but Adam and I are great dreamers, and when we start to dream together, we make it happen. And uh, when the mom says that, it just really made me very emotional. It's something that I continually to tell the kids that have good dreams, dream big. You know, once you have a big dream and a goal, to take the steps to get there. But it starts with a dream. So, and the kids have a great opportunity to dream big and have those high goals because they're homeschooled and they have the time to do it. So we have the flexibility to work their schooling around their dreaming. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to share that with you. Uh, when I was watching the movie yesterday, it reminded me of that. But did you like Wonka? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it was It was absolutely a great movie. I know. Uh, but today's Thursday, which means tomorrow. This is the little case. Yeah, I came in a case. <laughs> tomorrow is. You can bring it. What is tomorrow? Uh, Friday. Friday? I, Friday. I, I didn't know. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. So that means that we take homeschooling a little bit lighter. Uh, we do and have a little bit we need to catch up on because we didn't finish everything today because we were too busy socializing, chit-chatting, having some fun in the library. So Ooh. we will be doing that tomorrow. Let me check if it... Going to be doing some housework, you know, bathrooms need to be cleaned, laundry needs to be done. I keep forgetting but what, what side is ultimately, open, how we open it. Ultimately, tomorrow we're going to okay. enjoy a nice spaghetti dinner with the family when Adam gets home and uh, probably what? do a game night or watch a movie. I was supposed to pick up a movie at the library, oh, no. but I ran out of time. Put, put, put back in. Okay. What? This thing is gonna be a problem. When we start school, I'm gonna have to hide them. No, I'm I'm going hide my in my room. <laughs> hide in my room. I'm, I'm gonna have to room. hide these things when it comes to school time every day. But anyways, it's gonna be a very relaxing Friday tomorrow, and then we have some fun over the weekend <laughs> as as usual. Uh, we always try to make our Saturdays family days because we're so busy during the week, and uh, Sundays is our day to just kind of take it easy do things around the house, uh, either it's cleaning or repairs or whatnot. Speaking of repairs, <laughs> uh, this is another thing I've been battling over the past two days. We, um, we found like a hole in the front yard. It's like a plumbing area and it has like a plastic cover. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but it has a black plastic cover and there's plumbing in there with, um, they call it a... I forgot the name of it. But anyways, we had our water company come out. They said we needed a plumber because this is our problem. It's not on their side, it's on our side. So the plumber who did all the plumbing with this house when we built it came out and they said, no, 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 no. This is on the uh, water company side. It's not something that you should actually have to fix. They should fix it for free. But if we have to fix it, you're looking at about $450. When I, they told me $450, I, I basically like my jaw just dropped to the ground just to fix a tiny little part that's leaking a lot. Like I already got a message today from the water company saying our bill is going to be very, very high because of this leak. And we only learned of this because uh, when they came out to read the meter, they left that plastic cover off and Adam went to go mow the lawn, noticed that it was off and it was covered in water. And that's the only way we knew about this. So... Uh, they said what you can actually do, the plumbing, plum, plumbing company said what you can actually do is have uh, your husband, if he's handy, maybe YouTube it and fix it, which may have to be the case. Um, and I think Adam could figure it out, which would save us about $300, um, which I, I kind of feel like they're kind of swindling me with the price just to fix this tiny little, tiny little <laughs> area. Um, because he said the part is about $50 and I'm like, well, why is it 450 is labor that much? He's like, well, I don't know. It'll probably take me about 30 minutes to fix it. I'm like, okay, something's not really adding up here. So he said, well, maybe uh, if I could get it done in 30 minutes, uh, we'll drop the price about $200. I'm like, okay, this doesn't sound right. So 
Anyways, he said, call the water company. That's what he eventually said. You need to call the water company because they should be fixing it. So I called the water company and they said, well, we were already out there and we told you it's not our problem. And she asked, who told you that it's our issue? And I gave the company his name and number and she goes, okay, we're gonna come out there and check it out. Um, if we find that it's still not on our side, we will charge the plumber who told you to call us again to come out and take a look at it. And I was like, what? Um, I, my worry is that, yes, they told me to call the water company, um, but that, now they're gonna charge the plumber if they think that it's not on their side. Now, who's gonna end up paying that in the end? Me and Adam, <laughs> even though we didn't approve that charge. So this is getting to be very, very complicated. It's still not fixed. The water company still hasn't come out and I called them yesterday. So there's a lot of leaking going on in our front yard right now and nobody wants to take responsibility, but we keep on uh, being told like, no, it's their fault, it's their fault, it's their fault. So I don't know, hopefully tomorrow's Friday, hopefully uh, we get some resolution and we know what we need to do. Um, but the water company did say that they could possibly refund us or credit us a little bit of the water that was wasted in the front yard. So we'll see how this plays out. But homeownership, guys, is, is often a pain, <laughs> especially out here in San Antonio. This is a two and a half year old home. We've already been told that we may need a new roof because of the Texas hailstorms, which is absolutely ridiculous. And there's been people on the street who actually believed that they needed a new roof. And these roofs look pretty darn good. Uh, we called out another roofer and they said, oh, you just need to patch it. So, <laughs> because we lost two shingles. Um, but there's a lot of people trying to swindle you, trying to get business out of you that really doesn't, things for things that don't even really need to be repaired right now. Um, but it's been quite a challenge out here in San Antonio. Uh, when we owned our house in Wisconsin, never had a problem. And guys, weather out there is extreme. I have never been in a place where I've witnessed such extreme weather and our home was superb. It lasted through everything and we had to make very little um, updates to it or maintenance uh, updates to that home. Um, it was built very well treated us very kindly and it was an older home too. So be aware if you're PCSing out here to Texas, what the housing market looks like and uh, all the challenges you're gonna get if you purchase a home out here. So, and it's not just us. We have a lot of friends that are out here battling the same kind of uh, issues. But yeah, it's been a quite a few crazy days here. Um, but guys, this is getting kind of long of me just chit chatting with you, but wanted to give you guys a little bit of the updates that I plan on giving you, giving to you earlier today, but I'm very excited to finally have a PO box for you guys. I'm excited to have everything in the description, PO box, donation button, all of the stuff that you guys have been asking for. It's all there. And I'm happy that I was finally able to give you guys an update um, on what's been going on over the past few days. But it's 7-11 right now um kids are just uh finishing up getting ready for bed jane just uh got all clean you're all ready for bed right just gotta brush your teeth you need some lotion okay so we're gonna get all ready for bed uh and then we're gonna start reading in about 45 minutes so we uh upped the bedtime because we need more sleep for sure so eight o'clock bedtime mm -hmm. we're reading a uh, treasure Treasure Island, no. Yeah, Treasure Island, yeah, the classic. <laughs> For some reason that doesn't sound right, Treasure Island, yeah. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for tagging along with us today. Uh, in the day in the life, a day in the life, crazy day for sure. Um, come back for more fun with our family and uh, be sure to thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Treasure Island. Yes, I am reading this book to the kiddos and it is a pretty good book. Um, you can tell that it's an older book because of how the, it is written. The pages. Yeah, but uh, eventually I want to collect more of those and hang it up in the kids' room like on a shelf. So I think we'll be in San Antonio a little bit longer than we planned. 
that's what it's looking like. So we have time to put some shelves up in the kids' rooms and make it exactly how we wanted it to. Uh, so with that, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get the family ready for bed so we can go read them to sleep so I can get to sleep. I am very, very tired. I feel like at this point I'm rambling. But love you. Thank you so much for tagging along. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'd love to have you <laughs> along on all of our adventures. You want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. Home is with you wherever.